Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Essence of Shay. It's my birthday. It's my birthday. Hey, hey, it's my birthday. And I figured I'll do a special video today on my birthday. This will be my first mukbang. Muk, mukbang. Mucky. There ain't nothing mucky about my goddamn food, so I ain't gonna say that. But yeah, um, here it is. I went to Tapache, Tapeke. I, I wanted a burrito, but I didn't want um, Chipotle. I'm trying to try something different because I stay going to Chipotle. So yeah, this is my burrito. That thing, it's thick, ain't it? And then I asked them if they had um, queso, and she said yes. Funny thing is, is that this queso looks hecka funny. Like, this is a this is a chips, and the cheese is on the bottom, and but it's just like, you know, when you say queso, even though queso means cheese. You still expecting like queso dip, like dip. Guys, um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for my birthday. That'll be a great birthday gift. Let me pray. Thank you, Lord, for this food. I feel like I have been every good. My soul's you giving the bread of life sent down from heaven. God, please bless the hands that touch this food. Make it be scrum delicious. In Jesus' precious name, I pray. Amen. Uh, so yeah, guys, it's my birthday. It's so crazy. It's my birthday. Um, what the heck? It's basically. I don't know if you could see that. Can you see that? That white stuff is basically like a glop of cheese. This is not queso. I mean, it is queso, but you know what I mean. I have officially left my Jesus years. If you don't know what that is, go Google it. Um, and nothing like... Some people say in their Jesus year, they... A whole bunch of opportunities happen for them and... All that stuff and that did not happen for me at all. My Jesus year was full of like chapter closings and almost like a rebirth. And I chipped them still. Yeah, so. Um, left from a job, relationship ended, um, got played by a few people, but now those relationships are done. Relationships meaning, uh, uh, um, um, lover and friendships and family. Um, started to realize like who I really was and what I didn't want in my life and what made me happy and all, all that stuff. So yeah, man, it was, it was, I'm, I, all in all, I would say my Jesus year was in fact a rough, rough year. And I'm happy that it is behind me because I feel a change coming. Like I feel something, it almost has me like, you ever took like uh, pre-workouts, like before you go to the gym, they're like pre-workouts and like how at first it, it makes your body like tingle whatever or like nervous 
even if not pre-workers but if you're like nervous if you're on a first date or something and like inside your body is really tingling that's how i feel like i feel like something i don't know but it has me excited i don't know what it is i don't know what to expect but yeah um yeah i'm excited about what life has to offer because remember this year i was supposed to move that didn't work out jesus year <laughs> but everything works out for, everything happens for a reason this is my burrito she's thick ain't she um Yeah, so new year, new birthday, Gemini stand up. <laughs> Probably rocking Gemini's hard. Not the ones that be bugging, but I be rocking Gemini's hard. This show called Star, right? Mm mm mm. How can I? How do people do this? Like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Where's my drink? Anyways, I was watching this show, Star. You guys know Star. I watched the first season, but I didn't really stay up to date with the second season. Um, so I finally sat down and like binge watched it and yo, star, freaking girl annoying yo, she was annoying and first I was like, oh well, yeah they named the show star, but it's not gonna like be the outcome and that's not gonna be the outcome of the things that happen in the show it's not just gonna be based solely around her and then the end of the, the season she she becomes a solo artist on a solo tour niggas in planes crashing Ugh. I'm drooling but I was like, fam. Alex. I mean, some people say that she kind of like got on their nerves, but to be honest, what you expect a girl to do? She's like 19, like. <laughs> Her career is not even fully started yet. It's getting there. And she's just supposed to just, like, take care. Like, I mean, yes and no. It's a hot sauce they gave me. Um, I don't feel like she was wrong from, like, moving on. I think she was wrong about how she did it because one minute you're taking care of your your boyfriend who got in a car at car crash car accident and he can't move his legs so he's in a wheelchair one minute you're taking care of him next minute you fall in love with this or you start like trying to she tried to fight it off with this other dude who's in the same industry as you he's dark skin he's chocolate they call him luke <laughs> but yeah it's just like my lipstick getting all over the burrito look whatever but yeah this show was crazy and 
Um, Brandy's character. Oh, God. I hope that they didn't kill off Carlotta. Because that would be stupid. Like, she just got that promotion at work. The love of her life just died. She had to send away her only kid and her grandkid. Like, it don't make no sense. I don't think, um, ooh. Ooh. I don't think she should die. That's kind of whack. Hey, Tiger Lilies. Listen, so you made it this far? You might as well just hit the subscribe button and while you're at it click that bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos because you know sometimes your girl be going MIA okay back to the video bye hit in oh I didn't tell y'all what was in it Ooh, I got this it's yellow Spanish rice okay here steak black beans guacamole salsa Sour cream. I think there's cheese inside of there. I'm not sure. But I did tell them don't put lettuce in my burrito. Who likes lettuce in their burritos? It's like all soggy because all the other ingredients are hot. Like who likes soggy lettuce? Ugh. Anyways. But yeah, somebody asked me, um, how do I feel being single in 2018? I went through like a moment last year, like the ending of last year, which makes sense though, because the year is ending. Most people are like going to New Year's parties with their partner and da da da, and they're kissing all that stuff. So it kind of bummed me out towards the end, but then I started to try to enjoy my own company. And yes, I like to go on dates and hang out and da da da, but I'm now at a point, <laughs> I'm now at a point where it's just like, is there anyone even out there for me? Because, excuse me, like I know what I want now. It took me a long time, but I actually know what I want now. I know what I'm not going to tolerate with anymore i mean i'm still shay like i'm still there for anybody i'm still like will drop whatever to make sure you're good but it comes now with like which is sad because i never used to be like that where it comes now with um kind of a pause like i gotta think about it first just to make sure that i'm not getting uh, hurt or take advantage of in the process and sometimes that's good and sometimes it's not because some people are not out there to like get you but how my life experience have been just shit has been whack it really has like I like a dude he don't like me back or he'll like me, but he don't want no relationship. Or I'll get into a relationship. Everything is hunky-dory in the beginning. And either I or that person messes it up. And just taints your views on relationships altogether. It's just a lot, man. It's a lot. And now... I'm, I was even s sitting out thinking like, am I ever going to get married? Like, is anybody ever going to pop the question to me and not just like pretend like they have a ring? I've been, a, I was in a relationship before where the person, like every time they got mad, they'd be like, and I have this ring to give you, but I ain't never see the ring. What you talking about Willis? Like, what you mean? Am I ever going to get proposed to? Will I ever have a kid? Will I ever have my own family? Like, I start to think about that more as I get older. Because with women, like, there's, like, a time clock, right? 
there's a time clock as far as like when you can have kids and stuff like 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 that stuff like that there's no time clock and when you find your true love and when you um get married but there is a bit of a time clock for women if you want to have kids naturally like you can adopt at whatever age but if you want to naturally conceive you do have a time clock which sucks but it is what it is i'm thinking about going back to school for business business marketing business or business marketing because like i said i finally 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 realized which i probably knew all this time what i wanted to do with my life but I kept like blocking myself, like making excuses. That's one thing that we do. We make a lot of excuses. Other people in your life might deter you with the things that they say, but you yourself, if you really think about it, like if you're really scared to do something, like really petrified that it might fail or it might not work, you jinx yourself out so much that you don't even do it anymore and then God takes that creative juice away and gives it to somebody else and then you see it perform well in front of you and you're just like, damn, what if I, you know what I'm saying? So that's what's going on with Shay. My plan is to also start to travel more, but start to travel more by myself and not like depending on others because no offense other people have lives and things happen but you can't put your life on pause just to travel with others so what i'm gonna start doing is just like going around to like different states and like traveling the states by myself first and then build the courage up and then travel by myself abroad in june I want to go and I'll get like a big map where I just like mark out every place that I go. I want to go to Texas or Arizona, random places. But this is what you gotta do. Like if I wanna see each, like try to see each state, you just gotta pick them. Um, so when I do these things, I'm gonna reach out to you guys. So if you actually live in that state or you know somebody who does, and you can give me like ideas on where to go, what things fun to do. And if you live there, I can meet up with you guys. That would be fun. Some fun little thing I could do on my channel too. Like just meet my subscribers who are all over wherever you guys are. I will let you guys know like where's the first place I'm going. So you guys could tell me like where to go, what's the fun things to do, what restaurants to go to. Because you know I'm a foodie. <laughs> and yeah um what's the good hotels the best area to stay in just like help your girl out help your girl expand her mind this thing hot boy it's not like regular peppers like it's almost like peppers caribbean pepper sauce anyways um guys i love you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this mukbang mukbang i don't girl i don't know she's a m she's a bang that's what she is we'll take it um don't forget to like comment and subscribe um if you're in the new york area please try out this is not sponsored but their burrito is type good their queso nah but their burrito that's like seven dollars going to waste because that shit was seven dollars for chips and hard cheese on the bottom but the burrito kicking. I'm about to finish this. Anyways, guys. Um, so yeah, if you're in the New York area, I'll check check out this tempache, tempuche, tam, tampon, whatever. Um, see you later, Tiger Lilies. Don't forget to tell me happy birthday in the comment box below. See you later, Tiger.